instead of using bread the next time that you make avocado toast, making your toast a patacón, I'm gonna say that it's healthier. I don't know, because this is like double fried, but. Hi, I'm Guillermo, senior video producer for Chava. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make patacones or green fried plantains. They're known as tostones in some parts of the Caribbean. Some of you, if you live close to Caribbean markets or African markets, might have seen some of these green guys. And probably you never even question how to make them or what you do with them. They're not green bananas. They have a different texture. They're a different beast altogether. In the Caribbean and South America, we inherited this technique of double frying plantain from West Africa. So I'm gonna show you my version of making patacones. It's one of my favorite things to eat and they're the perfect vessel for anything. So what we need to do is get a large quantity of oil, very hot. I'm gonna use vegetable oil. And the next thing we're gonna do is cut our plantain. You're gonna cut along the vein. That allows you to peel it in sections, leaving the plantain intact. And the next thing we're gonna do with these guys is we're gonna cut them in sections about that thick. have our plantains. The garlic water is really the trick here to make these guys super savory, seasoned, delicious. We're gonna use four or five cloves. Depends on your taste too. Do, do what you want, do what feels good. And for this, all we need to do is peel them and chop them small. We're gonna transfer that to our bowl. This is gonna have water and salt and we're just gonna give a little garlic bath to each one, and boom, back into the oil. It's very important to have this oil be very hot. I have a heat resistant bowl. I'm gonna line with plenty of paper towels. Once you see that it's bubbling and it's ready to roll, throw them in. Be careful when you're working with this stuff. We're gonna let these guys cook for a couple more minutes until they get a little bit darker. I think we're in a really good spot here now. This guy looks good. You don't wanna take them out too soon because if they're still kind of raw and cold inside, it's gonna be harder to smash them. Yeah, he looks yellow, he looks ready. Ready to be smashed. I wanna get smashed. Like some cocktails and 20 of these guys. If you have a tortilla maker, one of those contraptions that allows you to flatten things, I would use that. Since I don't have that, I'm gonna use the old tried and true little plate trick. A little bit of nonstick lining paper. What I'm gonna do with it is fold it in half. We're gonna place our plantain here inside. Piece of plantain here. Smash with our plate. Ta da! That's how it's supposed to look. That's how it's supposed to look. F it's hot. Since we're all about helping these guys be less oily, why not triple paper towel it, right? Bam! This is the funnest part to me. Perfect, baby. We're gonna do the fun part. This is the trick here. We're gonna do a little garlic bath. Non-garlic lovers, this might be a little tricky for you guys. You don't have to use your hands, your fingers like I am. I just, I love garlic and I have no problem smelling like garlic, so. All right, so after our bath, pay attention to this. This is gonna go into hot oil and it has water in it. So this is gonna start up, all right? Be very careful and mindful of that. That, my friends, is the sound of a patacon second fry. And we keep going with this. Now from this point on, we're looking for them to get really golden. This is very sexy cooking. And it's sexy because it's dangerous too. The risk of the third degree burns is very real. So. A 
you know, as they start cooling down, I'm gonna try to blot it out and get as much oil out of them. We really want to avoid them tasting oily, or just like oil. That's, that's not right. This seems like an annoying step, just having to like, blot out oil, use up a ton of your precious paper towels. It's worth it. This is the kind of food that we love right now, right? Like, this is versatile. You're not making just one dish with this. You could really come up with 40 ideas. We're gonna clear up here because these guys are looking pretty done. We're gonna season them, we're gonna plate them, we're gonna bring out the chimichurri and the sour cream, and we're gonna taste them. What do you think, Pone? All right, we're looking ready. So to season this, guys, throw in a little bit of my favorite garlic powder, salt. Beautiful, delicious, fried, plantain. That deliciousness. All right. Now, let's try a little mix. Beautiful, golden coins. Right now during quarantine, I cannot invite you guys to Colombia. Go on a flavor staycation, literally. Sit in front of your window, put on the sunglasses, eat this stuff. Pretend that you're in Cartagena for the first time. 